the kind of the cancel culture we've got now where if, mm. if someone said something 10 years ago or even when they were a kid and they're getting they're getting cancelled their shows are getting cancelled or getting a lot of mm. um, like pushback on it and i think the, th- the thing that the thing that i think is ironic is it, it tends to be people on the far left that that um notice these things and yeah. it's a small percent on twitter that push it out and yeah. the ironic thing is that these people are the ones that are for rehabilitation like redemption stuff like that for prisoners so if someone if someone's like murdered someone they believe that it should be rehabilitation rather than punishment but if someone mm-hmm. had said something offensive 10 years ago they're cancelled they're they don't get any redemption it's just such a irony there i think it's very hypocritical because i think we could all look at our old instagrams or twitters or facebook's Bebo back when we were younger <laughs> um i think we could all look at that and probably see something like we said that's offensive in today's like just like you know the n-word was acceptable 100 200 years ago it's not now i'm sure things that we've said not that that excuses it but if Mm -hmm. somebody i'm not a big fan of cancel culture anyway i'm a big fan of letting people explain themselves and let's talk it through let's understand why you said that let me re-educate you but to ruin Mm -hmm. someone's life and livelihood I mean, you've got to balance the scales because then if someone lost their job and went into debt and had no money and wasn't allowed to make better content that served today's society, then, you know, the depression rate's going to go up. You know, you've you've got to watch with, you know, and then people will be saying, well, you know, depression and mental health is so bad now, but maybe it's the pressure of not being able to express yourself or feel it. Even me sometimes doing journalism, Sometimes I feel like I can't put what I want to say on Twitter because I'm like, well, yeah. if an employer says that, I might not get a job. So even I feel gagged sometimes to put my opinion across um, mm-hmm. in fear that someone would be like, cancel her, you know? And yeah, I mean, that worries me too. Like before, before like filming and stuff like that, I get so worried that I'm going to say because I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to mm-hmm. like do something at least be a bit open-minded and where things Same. can be said and like try not to worry too much but i'm so afraid that if I'm, I'm going to say the wrong thing i'm going to offend someone or something like that but i think the, the thing with that is like everything the things i say i'm not 100 percent behind so if someone was to say what you've said is wrong i'm not gonna uh, uh, and if that seems to be the case i'm not standing behind my argument i will say things that are wrong or, or stuff like or i might even say something that's offensive 10 years from now um, mm-hmm. which is what's happening now um, 